Alright, so we're here for Fairy Tale 349. I gotta say this is a great chapter. You know, overall it's you know had showed many things. Uh, I guess we could start with it showed started with um, Gray and that, that demon guy who said he wasn't human. Interesting enough, it seems that based off what was all happening and throughout his entire fight with Gray, he didn't seem to be at all intelligent. You know, at first he fell for the you know, the ice ledge where he fell over onto the ice and tumbled down. Then when he crawled up, Gray had already crawled underneath or made a fake sheet over. And he was able to completely trick this guy multiple times, just like not to. And, you know, he doesn't seem to be at all intelligent. So I think, you know, out of everything, this guy is not at all. He's more of the power strong, as you saw near the end. He was able to beat Gray down at the end with his fist as he, I guess, he grew in strength. So it seems as if uh, this is one of the demons, one of the demons from the Book of Zeroth. As to what he is or what kind of demon he is is very unique, I guess. It doesn't really say much. I'm, I'm starting to guess that the Book of Zeroth isn't like what people think. Instead of, you know, you got, you know, your book of demons, they're not, I think they were probably used to be humans, or used to be mages. They seem to have magic, they can communicate, although not intelligent at all. Where do I get this information? Agnolo, Agnolia. He used, he's a big dragon, right? But he used to be a human, he used to be a dragon slayer. So what's to say that these demons are not, you know, past humans, turned to demons by Zeref himself? Or by the magic, of course. But, uh, you know, that's why I'm starting to wonder a little bit from this whole this whole ordeal. His name seems to be, um, the, was it Dorite? Dorite? Yeah, I think that's right. His name is Dorite. But, uh, I guess Gray found out he's not the one who did the ice itself. Which makes me wonder, was it Maniva or was it someone else? Because, he, as he said, an ice mage would not feel, they don't feel cold. But that demon did feel cold, so, but he was able to, not to mention how smart him, he was able to, you know, make him mad to the point where the magic actually failed, which is very interesting, as they all got their, you know, they're all back to normal, which is actually is so much better. But I don't think I wanted to watch this, you know, a mission or a job with the Moth kids, they kind of get a little annoying. That's my opinion. Um, but other than that, oh God, I love coffee. <laughs> other than that, I find it very interesting how halfway through it, you know, he was able to get anger him to the point where the magic wore off, and he was able, you know, they're all not so gray. Um, and Urza all got their powers back. They got their size, everything, and then, which, why I'm, another reason why I'm so happy is the whole Urza versus Maniva, where she's, you know, talking down to her like she's all super powerful, but she's attacking her as a kid, which is, you know, it's kind of evil or not. It's kind of, you know, you, you you know, it's just not cool. But now that she's back to normal. Even though she said she knows how to beat her armor, I doubt she could actually beat her. I mean, it's going to be an interesting fight, but at least now it's more decent. Minus the fact she's probably injured in some form from the from the beating she just received. But other than that, this chapter, this overall chapter 349 was very, very good. You know, we get to see a new demon who's, I guess, from the Book of Demons. Or the Zeref's Book of Demons, my bad. The Zeref's Book of Demons, uh... Or the Book of Zeref, but, uh... You know, I'm starting to wonder, where did this ice come from? Who did it? Where did this, you know, guy come from? He's in a succubus guild, but, you know... There are dark guilds that hold demons? Or is it really that these humans used to be, they used to be humans turned into demons like Agnologia, which is really what I'm starting to think. And the whole power of regression 
you know, oh, the law of regression. What if that doesn't seem like, you know, you got your demons, you got your door to Hades, as, uh, as was mentioned, I think, in the last chapter. You know, they're, they're mentioning a lot of Greek or Greek mythology inside, or heroes doing a lot of Greek mythology in here, you know. Maybe the God Slayers are going to step up more because, you know, maybe the gods are going to come out or something to do with the, the haze or something with these demons and the, you know, age of law of regression. It kind of seems a little little off compared to what you would normally see, which I'm a little trying to figure out what that would do. But, um, you know, I'm Shisco Productions. I hope you enjoy this first review. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me how I did, you know, if you got another manga you'd like me to review or animate, just let me know. And I guess we're out.